In this video, we will see how we can use lab views producer consumer design pattern. Like master slave we had seen previously, producer consumer is based on the same architecture, only we use queues in place of notifiers. Queues can carry data and if the sent by the producer loop and if the consumer loop is busy while processing previous data sent by the producer loop then those items are stored in the queue and when the consumer is available for processing it withdraws those data items from the queue and uses it uh, that the benefit is that the uh, data items are not lost. So let's create a new VI for our producer consumer design pattern. Let's save it. Let's call it producer consumer design pattern. Let's create its front panel. Let's produce, place a tank control. Let's place a boolean control button. Let's call it in element into element and let's copy this text and paste it. Let's create a stop button. Place it. Let's add error in. And error out. Let's go and now create our block diagram. Let's select these uh, controls and indicators. Let's place them on the side out of the way. Now, since our producer consumer is based on Q, let's create a Q, obtain Q. Let's create a string constant for it. It will act as its data type. Now let's create a loop, while loop, which will act as the producer loop. Let's place a event structure. For handling our buttons. Let's create a case for the stop button. First add in case and uh, stop button. Rest we will be closing this loop. Let's bring this inside. Handling 
place it with the shift register and bring it in and pass it through uh, let's place it or if error occurs or the user presses the stop button in both cases we will be stopping this loop the producer let's think about it let's also bring the reference in so that Use it when you need it. Let's create the consumer loop, while loop, let's bring this reference down, place it in the ship register, let's place a while loop uh, a case structure for handling errors let's bring in this error conditions let's place it in the ship register and connect it to this conditional terminal We will be using and we'll be needing another case structure. Let's place it. Let's uh, DQ Let's get a Q status here Status to the tank. It will tell us how many items are in the queue. So let's call uh, VI point by point and we will start at ten and Let's create a ship register. And we will be passing this value. Zero has crossed this ship register. We will have another ship register.
this one we will insert boolean palette and not function and we will be activating it register and we will be initializing it based on this shift register and we will be giving constant initializing it to true let's place a weight of 100 a second here false constant since we will not be stopping this loop in this case let's create an uh, error in and let's close this uh, Whether we had already created it, let's connect uh, our error in over here. And our error out over here. Before that, we will be closing this queue, destroying this queue. Release queue. So let's go now to the uh, false state in which case we will be dequeuing an uh, element and also we will be filling the tank with the queue status. So uh, for this uh, tunnel, we have a true constant. For this one, we did a true constant, and we will be uh, not closing. Whether we can just remove this. Let's create um, uh, an event for in queue element, add even case for in queue element. If the user presses this button, then we will be uh, in queuing element. Constant element and if an error occurs, we will be passing the reference through the error wire through the tunnel will be going through. This one also we will be uh, true constant here. We will stop in the loop and we will be clearing this tank. 
and let's change its um, representation into a quotient dot. Let's turn it to I32. Unwired. So now we are done with coding. So let's go and test our code. Control E to go to the front panel. Let's resize our front panel view only the required uh, controls let's run it let's enqueue elements dequeuing it Upper loop is sending the items, and the lower loop is showing how many items are in the tank. So, this is how you can use the producer consumer loop architecture. Thanks for watching.